Hello and welcome to another weekly expansion, the show where we look at the best, in my opinion, or perhaps I should say some of the best, board game YouTube videos in the last week or so. Um, so I'm just going to crack right on. Hopefully this time we'll have some graphics down in the void here. I've not just sat off to one side to be artistic. Oh no, there's a reason for nearly nothing I do. Okay, we'll start with the big one, the Dice Tower. Uh, Sam had a look at the new Imperial Assault expansion, Jabba's Realm, and a lot of good stuff in that. Really, if you want more stuff for Imperial Assault, this is a good buy, um, was his conclusion. So I'll perhaps be looking out for that, although I've only just got Imperial Assault, so that might take a bit longer for me to get around to that one. Um, Tom reviewed Fuji Flush, a little trick-taking game that's been uh, from Friedman Fees, Fries, Friedman Fees, fr 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 too many Fs, um, from um, that guy who likes to name his games with Fs. And this, as a trick-taking game, has been fairly popular from what I can tell from Board Game Geek and places like that and other reviews. Um, Tom didn't get on with it too well, and I have fairly high bar for trick-taking games with um, Skull King and what's my other trick-taking game? Well, there's a bit in Honshu, isn't there? And um, So this is probably one I will give a miss to. Z looked at Dream Home, the uh, drafting game where you're building a home. Now, this is one I almost bought, but I have the best tree house ever, and I feel at the minute that's more on my son's level. And uh, I have quite a lot of drafting games too, so I'm not sure if there's anything different enough for me, but Z was a big fan of that. And then Tom and, um, what's the other one's name? Jason looked at uh, Santorini in their Every Board Game is Awesome, Every Game is Awesome or Not series. And this was one of the ones that they felt was awesome. I mean, um, Roxley Games, who've done this uh, re reimagining of Santorini, I think are a really, really strong publisher. I only have one of their games, uh, which is Super Motherload, but if you want a different twist on, on deck building, that is an excellent game, and I highly recommend picking up that. And uh, Steampunk Rally got a lot of love too, and now it looks like they've done it again with Santorini. So that's it from the Dice Tower. From a, the Board Game Brawl, Nick at Board Game Brawl, uh, finished off his top 100, and I said last time I really like his top 100 particularly because there's more movement in it. He really does it on the games he's played that year and um, what he'd rather be playing now. So I quite like that, although number one was predictable if you've seen his videos. Uh, Drive Through Review looked at Raise Your Goblets, which is a game I picked up on one of the Facebook groups I'm in. Um, and I really liked, so I was really interested to see that review. It's not a deep game, but there is enough in there with you poisoning other people's goblets, but trying to drink a safe one yourself that I think it's um, a really cool party game and uh, yeah, one that should be checked out if you like that sort of thing. The Game Boy Geek looked at Fancy Fancy Baseball, which he really liked. Looking at the review, I was just a bit meh about the way it worked and, and, the, and the art and it didn't seem like it really be my thing, but check that out. We go back to uh, one of my favourite new discoveries, Brian's Got Game. He was very excited about Yeti. Um, which is a family weight game uh, with a Yeti in it and you have to scale up the mountain. I ha saw this at the UK Game Expo last year, the big version, and um, still feel it's probably a bit too much random dice chucking for me, but we'll see, we'll see. I'll keep an eye on that one. He also unboxed Scuttle, which is a um, card game that's been on Kickstarter that is based on the game Cuttle. Now I backed Control and had that and I find that a bit disappointing for two players and it's actually left my collection now and I remember choosing between Scuttle and Control and I'll be interested to see the reviews of Scuttle to see if I made the wrong choice. Um, over on the very impressive uh, presentation, you know, just like my channel here, Man vs Meeple, they had two Kickstarter previews, Rise of Moloch from Call Mini or Not or as we seem to be calling them now, Simon. Um, yeah, this one didn't grab me as much. I've backed Massive Darkness and I think I'm going to stay with that being as it's, I've kind of been interested in a zombie side game and Massive Darkness is based off the zombie side system. Um, but I wanted one more that I could tailor more to my family and 
dark, horrible monsters in dungeons are far better than zombies for my family. So, yeah, I'm not convinced by this one. We'll have to see how that one goes. I, I won't be backing it, but I'll watch it with interest. And the other one was Delve from uh, Indie Card and Boards, or Indie Board and Cards, I can't remember, um, that they had a preview of. But again, it's these are just preview videos so um, for live Kickstarters, so take a look at them if you should like. Slicker Drips did Aeon's End, uh, thoughts on Aeon's on End and a playthrough, and I was really interested in this because I've just picked this up and I loved it after one play solo, which I don't do often. Uh, really, really good deck building game. And then over on Two Can Play That Game, we had another Meeple Box, which I was involved in, and we looked at Takenoko, and you can go and see that. Also, I'm um, a bit late to get on my official list that I'm reading here, but Actual Lol did another video, uh, vlog of reviews of a number of games, and that's well worth checking out, um, even if you disagree with some of his conclusions, which I may or may not have. And lastly, I just want to mention my good friend at District 31 has just released a Kickstarter for uh, another expansion for Ember, which is his game that has funded on Kickstarter, the first expansion funded, and this mini expansion funded in 51 minutes. And on this Kickstarter, you can get the whole bundle together. So it's well worth having a look at if you want a nice little card game uh, with fantastic art. And that just keeps, with each expansion, giving a bit more and a bit more. Um, and if you haven't played it at all, it's well worth picking up all of it and just starting with maybe the, the base game and the first expansion to, just to get your teeth into it but I recommend checking that out as well. Thank you very much for watching Board Deck and Dice, as always, and we will see you next time.